be kind of happy about it because in a way this is a time for you to evolve what can you do in this time to do better for you in your future no one else's and start creating that routine for yourself for example because of the car accident I couldn't work out anymore and working out was my outlet working out was my one thing that kept me kept me sane yoga and working out and kickboxing I haven't been able to do it in a year and the fact that I've had to change my routine it is I, I have learned so many different versions of myself within the past year it's crazy because I've had nothing but time to sit and reflect with myself but I do know that what comes with change is the fear and the only thing I can say about that is don't let that fear become that fear is only as real as you make it bring yourself back to right now what's happening right now in front of you and don't be stuck in your mind that is, that is the best advice I could give you don't get stuck in your mind I'm designing custom leggings. Do you mind if I show you them? I'm trying to get people's opinions. Yeah, absolutely. How you respond is all up to you. Yes, it is. I do Tara Mariki. Hmm. I like that. I'm... I gotta hit you up for that. <laughs> Crazy thing is girls here randomly do American accents like the Kardashian voice. Wait, in England? But why? I love the, the English accents. It's oh, like, uh, why? How is your back doing right now? Not amazing, but not horrible. I can definitely say um, my flare, my flares haven't been as consistent, which is really good. It's just a matter of um, getting back into my physical, you know, it's just, a, it's just a pain in the ass because I've definitely lost a lot of strength in my abdominal. I've lost a lot of strength in my back. And so gaining that um, connection back with myself and that strength has been a part of my routine because I've got to dedicate myself to yoga um, every morning to get my body back into its feeling so... I, I can't even describe it. I just don't feel like my it's my body right now. And that's okay. It is my body. I know it is. But at the same time, I'm just uncomfortable. And I gotta work through that. Because I've never felt... I've never felt this way before. I've never met this version of me. That's understandable. So, be patient with yourself. I'm being patient with myself. As best as I can. Hang on there, girlfriend. We gonna be okay. We gonna be okay. <laughs> You ought to come off with a warning label. <laughs> what? <laughs> For what? <laughs> Can I get a hi? Hi, Ricardo. Infinity Square. I just cut out everyone I've ever known in my life completely and started over after moving. Baby, let me tell you something. You can't run away from your problems. Leaving town doesn't... It doesn't do anything. You might meet new people, absolutely. But if it's anything that I've learned from going from state to state to state to state, you can't run from your problems. They'll just follow you. It's just a matter of how you take control of your life for your mindset. You can't depend on anyone else to make you happy. You can't depend on, you can't depend on that. Depend on you. But hey, if that's where your mind told you to go, if that's where your like instinctual energy told you to go, I, I can't tell you you're wrong. This is Jer, hello. <laughs> what do you have on your head? It fell off, it was my macaroni crown. It was your macaroni crown? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bully. <laughs> Someone said, Jessica Alba! I don't know who she is! Sacramento, California. Would you let your BF go to boy to yoga classes? I think everyone should get into yoga. Honestly, I, it shouldn't be. Uh, I think everyone should get into yoga. Yoga is a very, very, very healing thing. 
sometimes you don't even know, like you don't have um, uh, a connection in certain muscles in your body. And then once you gain that connection, it's like, whoa, I feel different. But it's a good different. So just try it. Yeah, I've gotten weak since last year. I honestly can't believe it. That is how I feel. From kickboxing every single day to feeling like I can't even hold my own punch anymore is pretty, pretty degrading for me, considering I love to be productive with my body and to be able to um, give myself skills that will be essential for my future just in case. And the fact that I can't do that right now is like a scream in my mind. But I, I also know that I am protected and I am okay. Thank you for the blooming. That was so sweet. And I just have to take my time into it again. I mean, I think, like I said, I can't say that this is a bad thing, even though it did really suck. I know that this is something that will make me stronger. And when it is over, I will have, if not, but more strength. It's just a determinability of staying consistent with being good to myself and being patient. For me, going to the gym helped me blow off steam, gave me happiness and sick abs. That's how I felt. That's how I felt until I realized I was using my trauma that I was like, what that I had went through in the gym. So I would spend like four hours in the gym working my ass off and I thought it was completely normal. But I had so many people telling me like, that is not healthy. That is not normal for your body. Don't do that. And thank you again for the blooming. Um, and I was like, but I'm fine. Like I feel great. <laughs> I definitely, definitely learned that I used a lot of the trauma that I went through um, into physical stress. I, and I pref honestly, I, I say I prefer that than mental stress because I have experienced nothing but mental stress this past year rather than physical. And that's very different for me. So it's going to happen to you too. I promise, it, it, we all go through it. I'm sorry, we do, one way or another. You just gotta keep staying present. It's literally the key. It's the hardest thing in the world, but it is the key. <laughs> You're still sending me blooming. That's so sweet. Oh, you just complete my goal. That is so rad of you. Thank you so much. That's what's supposed to happen. Maybe not four hours, but mentally. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was, I felt like in a way I was punishing my body when I was working four hours out in the gym. But I liked the burn, and I didn't see it as a bad thing until I was able to actually sit and look back and be like, wow, I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> Read my name, and I can make it happen. <laughs> Wait, what happened? You were in an accident? Yeah, um, a year ago. Yoga, great idea, very great idea. Draco, I deleted all social media and all I do is gym and box. Good shit, good shit. You feel so good, don't you? You feel amazing. And that is exactly what you wanna do for yourself because not only when you stay on that high vibrational level of knowing you're doing good for yourself, you are able to manifest the things you want in your life. And working out is the painkiller. It's the brain's natural painkiller. Truly, truly. So even like 30 minutes of going out and walking does something for you. Or even 20, even five minutes of doing like stretches does something for you. It actually tells your body that you're listening to it and you're acknowledging it and you are going to take the time to take care of it. You are showing your brain and your body that your brain doesn't know the difference. Um